it is still a new day in world wrestling entertainment because the new day comes away with some cheating, some antics, some controversies in this match. Reigning Supreme, the new day defeating the Dudley Boys. The match was okay. The match was decent. Didn't miss a whole hell of a lot. But we've seen Viva La Rasa. We've seen shades. We've seen antics of Eddie Guerrero at the hands of Kofi Kingston in this match with the trombone. But the referee didn't believe it. The referee didn't see it. Seeing is believing. But what would happen is later on in the match, the distraction would serve its purpose because Big E would end up using the weapon, the trombone, with no Xavier Woods at ringside. Trouble in paradise on Bubba Ray Dudley, 1-2-3, the New Day still the WWE Tag Team Champions. I cannot believe it. I thought this was the night that the Dudley Boys were going to come through. The Dudley Boys were going to win. But obviously, they are there to make the New Day look better. They're there to put the New Day over. They are there to make the New Day look very, uh, you know... Uh, um exciting, and, and, and the New Day's picked up a lot of momentum. The New Day has been riding this wave, and there's no doubt the New Day is going to be seeing supremacy because they are still the tag team champions as they defeat the Dudley Boys in this tag team match at Hell in a Cell. Once again, I'll give the match, I'll give it a passing rate of 3 out of 5 stars just because I was shocked that the Dudley Boys didn't win once again at Hell in a Cell. Subscribe. Uh, please excuse my uh, expectations, my anticipation, and my excitement. I'm just a little bit uh, revved up right now. Subscribe.